Greetings, world. I am a Richard coming to you today being Friday, September the 27th. Now, for today's reading, we're going to go and do a deep dive into autistic children. Now, I do have a young gentleman in uh, my home area of Montreal. His name is Ben. And I just got news from his mother last week that he's got a fascination with my energy and absolutely loves watching my tarot videos before heading out to school. And what a beautiful compliment that is, right? And I do have many of my friends who have beautiful autistic children. First, a little bit of feel good to you, the world, as we love you. I feel that, you know, autistic, for what many might see that of what they lack, like able to communicate, uh, they gain on the spiritual uh, level. I do feel, see, sense them as if we want to put an imagery to it as a little walking angels amongst us. I do know that they have higher gifts and we might be, if you really think about it, what do we lack in general to not tap into what they're tapping? You know, we're so focused in our everyday life, our routines, making money, you know, blip, blap, loop, how, uh, you know, a society and the status quo, how it all works. But really, is that what's important? Once our life cycle is all said and done, what do we leave with? We don't leave with our material our bank accounts, our possessions. What we do li leave with is like our human experience through trial and error and how we spiritually grew from it. So perhaps they have something to teach us, right? And I know many of us do believe that, but still many do not understand because they've never been in a situation. They know what autism is, but you know, if, I guess if you don't live the situation, you wouldn't really research into it because again, you know, like the everyday life of that prison system, you know, uh, totally dominates uh, and takes all our free time away from us. But without further ado, I'm going to ask my higher self, Oversoul in the universe, tell me everything I need to see regarding autistic children. So why do I say children? Because even though we're talking about autistic adults right now, those adults were once children. So I want to like see everything around that, you know, like uh, they come into our world like as children. You know, what do we have to learn? What do we have to see? Tell me everything I need to see and everything I need to know regarding autistic children in our, you know, reality, in our uh, human experience. And one more shuffle. Let's cut, let's rock and roll. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'll, you know, I'm always moving angles, whether I be in my trans out. But now I've decided I want to see my guardian angel, Farrah Fawcett, looking over me. Yeah. I never get enough of Farrah. All right, so back in action. The first card is the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands is a very fast traveling card. It's a fire element, a lot of communication, a lot of back and forth, fast movement. And then we do have the Three of Wands. So this is a being at the, um, um, the, the Three One portal where you're waiting for your ships to come in, your plane to arrive, so you can depart, right? It's traveling. So I could see that autistic children, right? They do come from another dimension. They're very fiery. They bring a lot of elements and they could, uh, you know, do uh, many topics all at once. There is a lot of beautiful energy with these first two. And then we do have, okay, walking away from what no longer serves with the Eight of Cups. So I guess that could be seen very much like um, what uh, we would uh, focus upon 
they've turned their back to that because that's not how they work, right? The way they communicate. They've turned their back to how we see a regular way of communication. You know, they're going on a journey. It's like somewhere else. That kind of communication does not serve them. There's another purpose there. So it almost feels like they're of off-world energy so far. Moving on, yes, because there is a lot of, with the Four of Swords, right? So um, there are very secretive information here about them. You know, whilst we might be meditating, focusing, praying, this is like my baby hermit. So like in thought, there are secrets within the mind about them with this sword right here. At the heartbeat. We do have, okay, so the three of swords. So often, I guess, the, these uh, beautiful children might uh, feel at one point or another in a parent's life or their surroundings, like uh, it brings them uh, sorrow, heartbreak that they can't communicate. Or often, maybe like a third, um, a stick in the wheel, a third wheel party. So that could be a lot of what we don't understand about them. Because I'm sure it can't always be easy, right? Because you'd have your child at first, unaware of the autism. And then, you know, as uh, they would uh, age and grow, then you start tapping into that something is not, um, is different, right? Because I don't want to say not right or wrong, because I don't feel that that's how they are. I think that they are spiritually superior, just that they got different tools. So maybe that's it, right? Like when one would have an autistic children, you know, like, and they realize this, you know, there is that form of, at the beginning, broken heart, or it's complicated, or, you know, a stick in the wheel. Moving on, because that's a heartbeat. And then we do have the King of Pentacles, but they do bring a total abundance, these children. Now, the King of Pentacles is the King of Finance. So when I say finance is because finance is abundance, but it doesn't just have to be gold coins. Abundance is like everything that is within your soul, your heart, your experience, right? You got full abundance. And I'm seeing this as Ben, right? Because Ben is a little man, Moving on for the future, yes, the Ace of Cups. So they do deliver absolute emotional uh, grants of the universe where the elixir of life is always on flowing. We got the white dove, like diving into the golden chalice. Beautiful card, all about emotions, emotions being restored. And then we do have the King of Wands, so King of Wands is very passionate, uh, very creative, a fire element. They do hold a lot of fire element, uh, autistic children, I can see here. So um, very, so I got two great kings here, the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. Very passionate again, creative, determined. A lot of determ uh, being determined with that one. And then, so yes, you know, in the mind, it could feel like, you know, you, um, sleepless nights, but it's all about exaggerated stress with the Nine of Swords, you know. Um, so I don't know if this is what how it might seem to others that they are looking like this, or if it's actually them that feels like that. I'm not too sure. If it is them feeling like that, I think they do have a sense of awareness that this is how maybe the parents or someone who's not like them would see them, right? So they're made of aware of how they are seen. Afraid that the counterpart is not understood by them, but because they are very high with their intuition and spiritual gifts, they could like smell it, feel it, resonate, right? Almost like read your mind. So they could tap into how they are seen by others who love them. That sense of worry, but that's an exaggeration of a worry. It's not legit per se. 
in the clarifyings, I do have the Nine of Pentacles. So she is self-made sovereign, very independent. Huh? Uh, I love uh, this uh, card. She is uh, beautiful. She goes very well with the King of Pentacles. And then at the heartbeat of that, there's a strategy here, okay, with the Seven of Swords. So we're moving uh, these mental elements around and turning around to see where we've uh, uh, stabbed them in the ground in order to decide where we're going to place the other one. Very strategic, this card indeed, and strategic of the mind because swords is an air element. So mind, mind put in words or words that are not said. They're very strategic um then we finish uh, those three with back from war and extremely victorious where all the villagers are celebrating you head on for a golden major arcana on autistic children let's see how yourself over soul and universe uh, give me a last a last glimpse a word of advice uh, look see poo regarding these beautiful little angels walking amongst us. And we have, yeah, the whole deck I think was upside down. Yeah, so anyways, it's the lovers, the lovers, the lovers. So that is something uh, to unite, right? In a question like this, they unite two aspects. The avatar with the soul aspect or they are made to unite, something of that nature, you know, because, you know, we do have uh, the angel here, like I keep calling them a little uh, earth angel wa wa walking amongst us. So I think this is what I see is that their purpose here being off world, highly spiritual, they can tap into gifts that most cannot. And the purpose for being is uh, in order to help unite, help unite, help unite us that are walking amongst them. You can look at this as Adam and Eve, right? There's no chains here. It's not the devil card. You know, they are free. And it's one about like coming together, the lovers. In a romance question, you know, it would be like exactly just that, lovers coming together. Uh, uh, it could be a political question as well, but this is not the subject here. So regarding autism, like angels coming to walk amongst us and order to help humanity unite. Is it to unite amongst themselves, ourselves? Perhaps, but I think in order to unite people more with their soul aspect, because you know, many are very divided from that aspect. There's a lot of reasons why it's not all their fault. Well, there's programming that's been there from the beginning of time. So it's as if, right, that they are these little warriors that have come in here to stir and shake shit up. You know, to break that mind control. To break uh, that programming. Uh, it's a very strong sense on this that I'm getting. All right, so let me put all these cards away, and I want to ask um, for added information, because I feel I need some, or the universe wants to give me added information. Judgment was the under deck, awakening the dead, breaking that, uh, you know, uh, programming, the trumpet from the heavens. Wake up, wake up. Something there. So give me added information, higher self and over soul and universe. Let's put it, uh, let's try with three cards. An added bonus. So no, that's way more than three cards that were flying. And why this deck keeps flying is I got so many cards that are bended right now. Because I'm a little rough with my cards. <laughs> I'm kind of rough with everything. All right, three cards, and here we go. All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles earlier. I got the King of Pentacles, and uh, what, I, what did I get also? I got another Pentacle. Was it the Ace? No. Anyways, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Happy home, happy family, lack of nothing, all abundance. This is like the dream family status. Moving on, again, the lovers. So yes, 
I'm standing corrected. They are these special light beings that have they volunteered? It feels like they were volunteers to come here to break this programming in order to help unite humanity with their soul aspect. Almost like, I'm gonna try to explain what my higher self is showing to me. Okay, so we're gonna look at a computer that gets a virus, right? So usually a virus would be seen as a negative thing because it's gonna corrupt everything. But what if our simulation was already a corrupted simulation? So then we'd have a form of a good benevolent virus coming in in order to break that programming. This is what it's fucking feeling like. And then, yes, in order to cross the 1111 portal where it's graduation, marriage, high celebration. Four of Wands is a major celebration. That's not a small reef here. This has got like weight to it. So go, coming from a portal, crossing a portal in order to bring that energy of celebration, marriage, graduation. I am loving it. So there you go, guys. I do believe that uh, they are highly special. They, they feel like volunteers coming into our simulation in order to shake shit up, to uh, break the programming. There would be one um, line or one form or one category of uh, light warriors because there are many. As many, I think, that it could be seen as demonic. Well, you know, we, it has to be balanced. The same would apply for benevolent, right? You got boots on the ground. You got boots in the ether. You know, like there's a, a lot of different categories. This is a very special one. And they come into a corrupted simulation to shake shit up because they are not corrupted. And I don't feel that they can get corrupted. Wow. I really love this, and I keep getting, like, my heart is expanding the, the frequency, the vibration. The more I'm tapping into the autistic energy, it is, uh, I don't know how I want to describe it, almost like, um, like a sacred geometry of sort that is... Um, and I don't believe that all sacred geometry is what we think it is. It's something different, but it's like a, like a ball that moves. I see honeycomb movement around it. I don't know what I'm saying. It's what I'm feeling and seeing. There's a lot of light, um, that yellow to the honeycomb pattern around it that looks almost like a chicken fence, but it is like a, a honeycomb, and it's a light, slightly vibrant, um, neonish kind of yellow, and it kind of moves around the energy of the autistic. Doesn't spin, it's like more, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, what I can say is I, this is the first time I do a spread, a reading about autistic children. I myself do not have uh, these little angels Personally, around my life, I am so happy I tapped into it because now I can see a lot more and whatever I felt about them has increased tenfold. So to you, Ben, I love you. Thank you for being a fan. And to my beautiful friend in Los Angeles, you are going to do good with your babies. So I love you all very much. I wish you all a great day. Be good, be kind to yourself, and I'll catch you all on the next read. Rock and roll. Ow! Cheers. Bye, Farah. <laughs>